Welcome to Electron Online. Here we're going to explore tension in a little bit more detail, so we have a few videos set aside to do just that. Our first video here talks about the concept of what tension really is and also in association with the concept of weight. Weight is the force by which the Earth pulls on objects. If you have an object sitting on the ground like this, then the weight is the force of gravity that pulls down towards the center of the Earth on the object. Tension is usually associated with a string or a supporting member of a truss or something like that. Tension is also a force. The units are just the same. The units are also newtons. And usually, as we said, tension is associated with things hanging down from strings or things connected to strings or cables or ropes. And the tension is usually within that string or within that rope or within that cable. And we'll explore in just a moment how we then look at the concept of tension in those circumstances. First, let's take a look at the concept of weight. The weight, as we can see here, is equal to the product of the mass of an object times acceleration to the gravity. If you go to the surface of the moon, the weight of an object will be different than it will be on the surface of the Earth because g is different on the moon as it is on the Earth. And if you go out way out in space where there's no planets anywhere nearby, no stars anywhere nearby, then the weight would be zero because there would not be an acceleration due to gravity. An object simply has mass but would not have weight. In this case, we can see that the weight would be the force pulling down on the object, and we can then draw a vector representing that force. We can then say that the force is equal to the weight or the product of the mass times gravity, and is pulling the object towards the Earth. And then, according to Newton's third law, there's a force pushing back on the object from the Earth. That's a reactionary force. force. That would then be called the normal force. The normal force is perpendicular to the surface, simply pushing back in the opposite direction as the weight of the object. And those two forces will then cancel each other out. In other words, at this point, there is no net force uh, on this object because the normal force, in this case, would be equal to the weight of the object simply canceling out the weight, and since there's no net force, there would be no acceleration, then there's, there's no movement on the object. How do we look at it in terms of this? Well, first of all, what we can do is we can draw a free body diagram on this object, or I should say, of this object. So let's move it over here. Here we have the object, has a certain amount of mass, and it's suspended from this cable. What are all the forces acting on this object? Well, for one thing, we have the weight of the force of gravity pulling down on it. So this is equal to the weight of the object. Sometimes we simply write it as a W instead of mg. But now, what is keeping the object in place? Because we know that if there's a net force, the object will be accelerating. If there's no net force, the object will remain stationary. Which means there must be another force pulling upward, and that would be the tension in the string. Now, if the tension is of the equal magnitude as the weight of the object, in this case, if tension is equal to mg, then the object will stay in place, and that's what we're seeing here. We can see as a free body diagram, this object is being pulled down towards the Earth because of the force of gravity equal to mg, and is being pulled up by the tension in the string or in the cable, and that tension is equal to mg. And that's what we mean by the concept of tension. Now, what does it look like when we take a look at this hookup here? If we draw a free body diagram of this hook, we have the hook and we have the string down there. And we can now say that the tension of the string is pulling downward on the hook. Now, this is where it gets a little confusing sometimes. Relative to the mass here, the tension is upward. It's pulling upward on this object, keeping it from being pulled down by the force of gravity. But if we look at this portion of the string right here, we can see that the tension is pulling down with an equal amount of force, mg, because the tension over here must equal the tension over there. So it's also equal to mg, but it's pulling down relative to the hook. And then the hook is pulling in the opposite direction, Newton's third law. So we have the force from the hook, and it's pulling in the opposite direction, and this will also be equal to mg. Again, if it wasn't equal to mg, then the hook would be moving, or the cable would be moving, or accelerating. Since it's not, all the forces are equal. With respect to the hook, the cable is pulling down on the hook. So relative to the hook, it looks like the cable is pulling down on the hook. Relative to the mass, it looks like the tension is pulling upward on the mass. So it all depends upon what perspective you have on the particular cable. 
looking here, again, you can see that relative to the mass, the cable is pulling up. Relative to the hook, the cable is pulling down. The magnitude is the same for both. And then to balance things out, the force on the hook, the force by which the hook pulls on the cable is equal to mg because those forces must equal as well. Now let's take a look at this situation right here. Here we have a table with a big mass on top. Let's suppose there's enough friction there that nothing is going to move. There's not going to be an acceleration. There's not going to be any velocity. Let's assume that this pulley here has no friction at all. And there's a small mass hanging down from the friction or from, from the string here. Again, if I draw a free body diagram, like so, we have an exact similar situation that we do over here. We have a small mass with a string attached to it. We know that the force of gravity pulls down on the object with a force equal to mg, which is the weight of the object. And then we have the tension of the string pulling back in the opposite direction. When those two forces are equal, then we know there's not going to be an acceleration. If there's no friction in the pulley, then the tension here must be the same as the tension here. So if we can say that the tension on this string is equal to t, then we can say that the tension on this string must be equal to t as well which means that the string is pulling to the right relative to that mass. So that mass feels a force being pulled to the right. Now you may say to yourself, well, what's keeping that mass from moving? If we assume that there's a certain amount of friction, because there's a certain amount of coefficient of friction, so it's not equal to zero, in such a way that there's a force pulling in this direction due to the friction, then we can say that if the friction equals the tension of the string, if the friction is equal to the tension, is equal to m times g, then nothing will move. So this block then feels a force pulling in this direction caused by the tension on the string, and this block feels a force in this direction caused by the friction force between the, the object and the table, and if those are equal to one another, the block will not move. Again, relative to this block, the tension is pulling to the right. Relative to this block, the tension is pulling upward. So it always depends upon what perspective you have and what the direction of the tension is. Here you can see that the tension is only in a vertical direction, but here you can see that the pulley caused the tension to move to a different perspective or a different direction. Here we have the tension in a vertical direction, here we have a tension in a horizontal direction, and the tension is equal in magnitude over the entire string as long as there's no friction on the pulley. So from now on when you take a look at tension and you wonder, well, what is the tension on the string? They always say, well, the magnitude is a certain thing. The direction depends upon what your perspective is. If, it is. if it's with respect to the object, in this case, the tension will be upward. With respect to the hook, the tension will be downward. And that's how we look at tension.